It has been 10 years since our county battled those devastating witch and Harris fires. Some people who lost their homes still have not been able to rebuild. Our tennis reporter Joe Little spoke with a victim who has one simple piece of advice to avoid the pain he's endured. I'm standing in what would have been Robert Rivera's kitchen a little more than 10 years ago. Clearly, he hasn't been able to rebuild. It's been a frustrating battle for him the past decade, and it's something he could have avoided if he had checked one small thing. Way down Highway 94, Robert Rivera is still searching for help. Kind of devastated. The sheriff's deputy raced home in 2007 after someone said fire was moving towards his Del Zura house. I knew I had just a few minutes to take a couple pictures and pretty much leave. Leave without knowing what happened. I had that small amount of hope left that I was hoping that maybe it just missed my property. Kitchen was on the right. It didn't. Uh, bedrooms were on the left. Also had a uh, full shower there, full bath. Rivera's house was destroyed. Well, making matters worse. You know, I thought I was properly insured. They had all the they had all the sizes of the rooms and all the information that I gave to them. Yet Rivera says his insurance carrier had his square footage wrong. He says they're short by 900 square feet. He hasn't been able to rebuild. Frustrated. I thought I was insured, you know, properly insured for the entire house. With the fire danger on the rise, mm -hmm. Rivera says beyond being insured, check that you're insured properly. Making sure that the square footage matches up to what the insurance company has. He also suggests making a detailed list of everything, literally everything inside with photos and receipts, just to make sure you're not left searching for help. In Del Zura, I'm not going to be able to rebuild here. Joe Little. And I mean, that's the story here. 10 News. 10 News contacted Rivera's insurance carrier to get their take on this case. They have yet to respond.